everybody, Kelly here. I work at the Mall of America, as a lot of you guys know, and one of the number one questions I get asked from like family and friends is, do you feel safe working there? So I'm gonna do a vlog about it. So I've been working at the mall for over four years now at two different big retailers. Working at the Mall of America, it's a really great experience, but then there's also a lot of cons to it. And one of those is safety. Obviously it's a risk to work at a place called Mall of America. <laughs> it's kind of like working at like the Statue of Liberty. It's one of those things that just kind of screams like patriotism. <laughs> like seriously, I get asked this all the time. Just because it is Mall of America um, and it has been a target before. Here's why I feel safe working at the mall and why I tell my associates not to worry about it. So number one, Bloomington Police Department. Um, the Bloomington Police Department is located inside the mall. So it's not even just like having cops like stationed or like in cars or anything. Like they actually have a police station in the mall. Um, which is absolutely awesome and these guys are incredible. Okay, second reason I feel really safe at the mall is because of the dogs! So there's bomb and drug sniffing dogs that walk around the mall all day, all night. And A, they're really, really cute. <laughs> and B, they're really good at their job. Like, I have seen these guys in, like, both walking around the mall and when they're doing training. And I am so impressed. No, but they're so cute. Just don't pet them, because <laughs> um, then they're, they're masters, owners, whatever they're called, they get mad at you. So don't pet them. It's bad. They're working dogs. Third reason the mall is safe, there are cameras literally everywhere. So I was actually on the phone with Mall of America Security because <laughs> this little kid had fallen asleep on one of our tables and we couldn't find his parents anywhere. Trust me, this isn't even the weirdest story I have. He was asleep, like we couldn't wake him up. He was like asleep asleep. So we're like, okay, what do we do? So we called security and gave them a description of the kid and then they actually found people out in the mall who were looking for a kid, like on the security cameras. And so they were able to point us in the direction of them, we found the parents, we connected the kid, like everything was good. I just kind of feel bad for the kid because how... You must be really tired if you're falling asleep on a table in the middle of a store. Okay, fourth reason, Mall of America security. So there are, you can walk around the mall and you will find a security guard in like 10 seconds. They are everywhere. They are pretty good at their jobs. <laughs> I prefer calling the Bloomington Police Department, um, but mall security is always an option as well. But my favorite are the undercover security guards. So these are people walking around in plain clothes, look just like normal people, but they're checking on um, if there's crazy people in the mall, um, making sure that crazy things aren't going down. Uh, they're making sure that no one's leaving suspicious packages or um, no one has a huge duffel bag or anything like that. But if you're undercover, then you're more likely to catch those suspicious, weird, creepy, crazy people. So that's why I feel safe at the mall. No, but the mall is a crazy awesome place to work. I think one of my next videos is gonna be why I like working at the mall, what the pros and cons are. Um, so stay tuned. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment if you have questions, comments, or concerns. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.